They're here, Commander. And I, for one, am grateful that they are. Told you've been busy since our paths last crossed at the Gimlet Dark. Not that I understand half of it. When the science spoke of other worlds, I'd struggle to describe what I pictured. Mayhap things would seem clearer were I to hear the tale from your own lips. But I'm afraid the situation will not afford us that luxury. I trust you two require no introduction. We meet again, hero of Eorzea. Must we repeat this ridiculous display? I pose no threat to you, though what I come to warn you of very well might. Had he meant to do us harm, I hazard he would have kept to the shadows and brought more than two companions. We need not pretend to be the best of friends, but I hope we can put aside our differences for the present. As you are doubtless aware, Sir Estinian and I cooperated to rid the world of Black Rose in your absence. Our journey together took us as far as the Imperial Palace, where we witnessed Emperor Varus meet his death at Xenos' hand. Being the sole witnesses to this crime, and in no position to defend our innocence, we were then forced to flee, each pursuing his own avenue of escape. When we were later reunited, Estinian claimed to have encountered an unfamiliar kind of machina during his flight, but to me his description seemed anything but, and upon further investigation I found that I was right. The Empire is developing a new Ultima weapon. What, that elegant monstrosity, created to vanquish primals? with which you yourself once thought to conquer Eorzea. The same. In my foolishness, I sought to harness its power and became the Asian's pawn in so doing. But you know as well as I how that tale ended. The weapon itself, excavated from beneath this very city, was destroyed ere we could fully unravel its secrets, and that should have been the end of it. But unlikely as it sounds, the Empire's efforts to recreate it have somehow borne fruit, primarily through secret research conducted by the Seventh Imperial Legion, it would seem. Wait, the Seventh was all but annihilated at Cartano, along with its Negatus. Indeed, few survived. The Seventh, as it is now, has little in common with the Legion led by Vandanus, and its leadership has changed hands several times since. Precisely how this project has continued despite such turmoil, and under whose auspices, remains a mystery. What we do know, however, is that a number of prototypes have been produced, and that one of them is on its way to Eorzea. We attempted to stop it, but it was all we could do to slow its progress, so we resolved instead to bring you warning. And right glad are we that you did, though it soundly dashed our hopes that tensions might ease at last. As it is, we've begun to strengthen our presence in the Gimlet Dark, and are assembling a force to meet the coming threat. A force with you in its vanguard, I hope. Before you say anything, I know full well you have pressing concerns of your own. Your comrades remain in peril, and I would not ask you to forsake them. But the fact remains that you, and you alone, have faced the Ultima Weapon and emerged victorious. We need you. And so, when the time comes, if your comrades can spare you, I bid you lend us your strength. I've assigned an officer to await your word. The Asian's downfall was to be the work of my remaining days. But it was my hand that kindled these flames, and I cannot allow them to spread any further. I will do what I must to see this mistake consigned to history once and for all. 
even if it means begging your aid. The fates will enjoy the irony, even as I endure the ignominy. I too shall make for the border and offer my skills, meager though they seem in such company. Mayhap we shall meet there anon. Though we can ill afford to ignore the coming of a new Ultima weapon, our friend's plight grows ever more precarious, and none save you can join them in the first. I only hope you are not forced to make a choice. <laughs> 